What's happening over here? It's Camtasia 2022 blend mode. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so let's talk about blend mode, which is a new feature in the visual effects tab for Camtasia 2022. Now, initially I was just playing around with it and I managed to create this thing. So let me play it for you here. It's a photo of me, water waves in the background, water sounds, and text. That's all the stuff that is on the timeline that you see. So let me show you how I created this thing because honestly, you can take a cool snapshot of this and post it on your social media and it'll look really cool. So first, blend mode is in the visual effects tab. If you don't see it, click more and head over to visual effects and you'll see blend mode. Now, when you hit the star, it'll be in your favorites. And when you click favorites, you'll find it there for easy access. So let me show you the different elements. First thing I used was this photo of me. Then I had this uh, water waves, which I thought would go well together. So there's water waves that look like this. And you can see that, you know, it looks very different than what's happening over here, right? <laughs> All right, so let's get into the blend mode. So let's add it onto the water waves and see what it does. So I'm literally just gonna drag it, place it on here, and you can see it looks pretty bad right now, so we need to alter it. When you click on the mode, it's on screen. And they have a bunch of different options, dodge color, linear dodge, and all this stuff. And you basically want to run through it and see which one looks the best for you. Some of them look, that looks pretty effing scary. So let's not use that one. But I think I was using soft light. And you can see how it blended the water waves onto the actual image. Now you can do this the other way around as well and have the photo on top and add the blend mode on that. But for the purposes of this video, I'm doing it the other way around. So now you want to size things to make them actually look good. So I need to make this photo bigger, move it down a little bit. And then this one needs to be larger because there was some black bars that you can kind of see there. And then you can see here, now we can play around with the intensity if we want to lessen it and you don't want to make it as much. Right? Initially it was set at 100, but I, I think it looks cool at 100. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to play with any ranges or anything like that. I'm just going to show you a quick use of the blend mode and we'll just focus on this and then other tutorials will go into other aspects of blend mode. And then I just grabbed some regular text and I'm just gonna copy this and paste it. And you can see that it looks a little bit faded and that's because I lowered the opacity down to 57. Initially it was like black like this, which you can technically still do. And if you notice, I chose a font that has kind of like holes in it, right? You see here? It has these like kind of like sketch marks, which makes it look even cooler with a cool feature. Now I decided to fade it out a little bit. Oops, wrong one. Now I decided to fade it out a little bit to make it seem like, you know, it's kind of like in the water. And then it gives this whole effect of an image. Now you can literally take this and take a snapshot of it like I did over here and use it as social media. That looks pretty cool. Now, if I play it here, you can see that it's got the image, the visual of the water, so video of water, the sounds of the water waves, and some text here. So let's play it. So that right there is a very eye-catching piece of content that I can post up. So there it is, very simple use of blend mode. What do you guys think of it? Hit the thumbs up button if you thought this was cool and I'll see you in the next video.